Leading the news this morning, the House of Representatives has passed the mining tax after an early morning vote. The federal government secured the numbers after a late night deal with the Greens. The government has now agreed to make yet to be disclosed savings elsewhere in the budget to make up a $20 million shortfall. Egypt's military rulers have agreed to hold presidential elections by July next year. The military has also accepted the cabinet's resignation and will proceed with parliamentary elections next week. The concession, however, has failed to placate the thousands of protesters who are refusing to leave Cairo's Tahrir Square. Violence is continuing and protesters are demanding an immediate end to military rule. An Australian woman is believed to be one of seven people killed in a train fire in India. Australian officials say four Australians were on board the train. Three are among the injured and are being treated in hospital for burns. Australian officials are yet to confirm the woman's death. A memorial service will be held this morning for the victims of last Friday's nursing home fire in Sydney. Mourners will gather at the Quakers Hill Anglican Church to remember the nine elderly people who died. Roger Dean, who worked as a nurse at the home, has been charged with murder and he'll appear in a Sydney court today. Denmark's Princess Mary and Crown Prince Frederick are in Melbourne today as part of their six-day visit to Australia. The royal couple are promoting Danish exports and businesses. After Melbourne, the pair will travel to Western Victoria and Broken Hill in New South Wales.